Hello again, welcome to my class. My name is Teacher Hura and today is all about solutions. Now the mall is one of my favorite topics and it does not give you problems, it only gives you solutions. But today we will not look at those kind of solutions. We are going to look at the solutions made by dissolving things in water or other solvent. Take for example if you take a, a teaspoon of salt and you dissolve it in a cup of water. So you end up with a solution of salt and that solution has a certain concentration. So that concentration is what you're talking about here. And then you shall move on and talk about what is known as molarity. So let's straight, move straight ahead to the concentration of a solution. So the concentration of a solution is the amount of solute present in a given volume of solution. So here we are dealing with about the solvent and the solution and the solute. So the solute, when it is dissolved in a solvent, it forms a solution. For example, if you dissolve salt in water, then you have a salt solution. So here, when you're talking about the solute, the salt is the solute here. So let's say the salt here is sodium chloride. If you dissolve five teaspoons of sodium chloride in two cups of water, then your concentration is going to be five teaspoons of sodium chloride in two cups of water. That is the volume of the solution that you will end up with. However, in chemistry, we want to be more specific. We want to use more specific units so the units that you're going to use is grams per volume so you measure the amount of solute in terms of grams and the volume of solvent in terms of uh, maybe cubic centimeters and you end up with something like 20.0 grams of sodium hydroxide in 500 cubic centimeters so this is the concentration of sodium hydroxide and it is very specific Next, you can look at the second way of expressing this. You can also express it in terms of moles per liter. Now, moles, I said, is my favorite topic. So when it gets to the mole here, I get a little bit excited. So when you're talking about moles per volume, you can calculate the moles of that solute and then, of course, dissolve it in a given volume. So, for example, we can have 0 0.5 moles of HCl, that is hydrochloric acid, in 250 cubic centimeters. So that is another way of expressing the concentration of a solution. So now that you have seen how to express the concentration of a solution, we need now to look at the next part, which is the molarity. Now the molarity of a solution is actually the concentration of that solution, but only expressed in moles per liter. So the key for molarity is right there. It must only be expressed in terms of moles per liter. You cannot express it in terms of grams per volume or any other way. It must be moles per liter. So let's take an example. Uh, the units for this moles per liter is usually written like this. So you have mole slash liter. And then it is abbreviated as MOL slash capital L, or sometimes you can have it as a small L, no big deal. Then it can also be expressed in terms of moles per cubic cent decimeter, which is a MOL DM with that. So you can see this, that uh, the expressions that we're using here are more specific. However, in this case, it must be moles per liter. Now, one liter and one decimeter is the same thing. That is why we can express it in terms of moles per liter like this or moles per decimeter like this. And you should always remember that one liter is equal to a thousand centimeters cubed. One liter is a thousand centimeters cubed. That's a very important thing to remember. So next we look at uh, the other way we usually express our molarity. 
the molarity is really expressed as a capital M or written as a capital M because this now stands for moles per liter. For instance, if you have something like 2.0 M of sodium hydroxide, that means 2.0 moles per liter of sodium hydroxide. What if you have 0.5 MOL slash L of sulfuric 6 acid? That means 0.5 moles per liter of sulfuric 6 acid. Then finally, you can also have like one molar, so that is 1.0 mole decimeter cubed of hydrochloric acid. So all these three ways are these different ways of expressing your molarity. And molarity is only expressed in moles per liter. And remember, one liter is equal to a thousand centimeters cubed. And also one liter is equal to one decimeter cubed. So that is how we express the two different things about solutions. That is concentration and molarity. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, click that subscribe button. Also make sure you ring that notification bell so that you can get new videos every time I post them. See you next time.